Hey guys, Linda here, finally back. I, I know, I've been missing in action for a whole year. <laughs> I did not mean to leave for a whole year. My mom came up for November uh, for Thanksgiving and she stayed quite a while. I was very surprised, so she stayed a long time. So I was just working and spending time with my mom. And I think I mentioned before, once you get out of making video, for me anyway, once I get out of making video, it's hard for me to start back. I kept saying I'll make a video, never happened people. <laughs> And I had to force myself to come and do that. I was like, let me go ahead and finally make a video because people wonder where I'm at. I, I've been okay. I just was spending time with my mom and um, working. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I, I, I'm not doing this for a, a job or anything. I'm just doing this because I like reading romance books. So <laughs> it is what it is. I, I try to make a video when I can. I'm sorry. So just hanging there with me. Uh, I'm not trying to do this to make money or anything. I just I just love it to do it, to meet people who love reading romance books like I do. So if I'm missing some time, don't worry about me. I'm, I'm all right. I, I, I just didn't feel like making a video. <laughs> but anyway, I'm coming back today. I'm going to do a book haul because, as you know, I have been uh, collecting books. Yes, that's all I do is just buy them and, and just sit them around here. I'll be like, I got to have it. And don't ever read it. Yeah. <laughs> I try to make a resolution for this year, like, I'm not looking at any more people videos. I'm not looking at any uh, 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 videos that are talking about romance books. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What are they doing at it? I, I, look, first thing I did was, look, first video I'm looking at, because <laughs> I see somebody else, who they, they talk about the book, or I see a book cover. I, I, I think you all know I buy books for the cover, too. You know, and if you see me sweating here, I'm upstairs and you know, heat rises upstairs. We haven't got the air conditioner on. I just got a fan on. So yeah, if you see me wiping sweat, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> that's another I can't get comfortable making video. You're already nervous. <laughs> I'm putting yourself out there for people to see. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm coming to you with a book haul today. So let's get started. Um, first up, I got here, Rules of Heartbreak by Brittany Taylor. Have any of you read this? This came out of my romance book. If you've been with me for a while, you, if you've been with me for a while, uh, you know that I I was getting the romance reveal book box. But since then, I, like I said, I had made a resolution that I wouldn't buy no more books, so I quit getting the book box uh, in December. I was going to start fresh 2023. Yeah, it all went down here before I even got started. <laughs> It went down here from there. I was like buying books every day. I was like, don't say what you're not going to do because then you you do worse than what you did when you was just buying books because it looked like I got worse. Every day I look around, I, I was having a, a package in the mail. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, uh, The Rules of Heartbreak. And I, like I said, I got this from the Reveal Book Box. Have any of you read this? If you have, let me know. Did you enjoy it? Uh, was it really good? Because... I, I just only want to read good romances. I don't want to waste my time reading reading books and that. I'm like, I really don't want to read this. And I think I mentioned before, I have a hard time DNF in a book. I be, I be wanting to give it a chance because sometimes you can get to the middle and it picks up and you really enjoy it to the end. It'll turn out being a, a four-star book or a four-and-a-half-star book that you really enjoyed. Maybe you won't read it again, but you enjoyed it. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> so let me know if you've read this. There you go. Look at that cover. I love that cover. I also got this from the Reveal Book Box. This is All Night Long. Um, I don't know. This is in a series Vegas After Dark series, I guess. I don't know if this book one or book two. You know, I don't go and do my research. Yeah, I'm, I'm just only, I just want to show you book. I don't want to do no research on what, what is what. <laughs> I'm not a professional YouTuber, so yeah, I'm just doing the best I can <laughs> with what I got. Uh, this is by Tori Baker. Let you see that cover. That's a great cover, too. And I don't know if this is, oh yeah, this is book one in the, uh, it said, look, this is what people need to put on here for people who don't want to do research on books and find out what series, what book it is in the series, just put it on your book. And it said right here, book one, the heartbreak series. There you go. Yeah. For people like me, I need, I need, uh, I need all the information on the front of the book, what book it is. Yeah. <laughs> and next we got, um, Hating Mr. Perfect. This also came, this is all. If you can, I hope it, 
all this white right here don't mess up the view of the picture here and this is by suzanne baltzer i hope i'm pronouncing her last name correctly this is hating mr perfect and i'm also filming on my phone and that was another reason i didn't come back and film me my camera started acting crazy because i think the last video i did it was so dark i was like this picture is so dark yeah my camera has went kaput <laughs> and i don't want to buy another one <laughs> that, those cameras are not cheap especially since everybody getting into making videos and stuff like that these cameras are getting expensive and outrageous i was like uh let me see can i film on my phone we're gonna we're gonna do some phone filming <laughs> and also i got a new computer and what i was um downloading my videos to and doing editing on i don't have that anymore so then i had to go find a new editing yeah it was just too much and i'm all i'm minimalistic i'm all about doing stuff simple and easy because if it's getting too hard i ain't got time to fool with that no i don't <laughs> So I would have, I, I haven't edited, so I'm going to try to edit this video on this new um, editing program I got. I don't know how long that's going to work. I don't know how long this is going to take me to get this video up. Because like I said, I don't like doing research. I want somebody else to do some research for me and then they tell me how to do it and then I go from there. I catch on quick. So you just got to tell me one time how to work it. But as far as me trying to go do research on stuff, that's why I don't have like pictures all hanging up here. Because I got to go do that research myself and I'll be like, and if I don't find it right away, yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> I ain't doing too much research, but anyway, I'm all off topic. But here you go. Uh, what was this? Hating Mr. Perfect. S Suzanne Balsar. There you go. Picture that. Uh, next I got up here. I heard about this on book BookTube. Yeah, stay off of BookTube if you don't want to. If, if you want to keep your money in your pocket, stay off of BookTube. Here you go. I, I Yeah. Run, pose, and run. <laughs> this is by Kate C. Wells. Now, I wasn't going to buy this book because I only gave this book a four. And I didn't feel like I wanted to read it again because this is a, this is kind of like a monster. Uh, the guy's in the, um, in the mob. I guess they call it the mob. I don't know. But, yeah, he, he's in a criminal environment. And he got this girlfriend that he think uh, somebody sent him something. Why is, all, why is somebody always messing with your relationship? Can't we just all just get along and be happy together? But yeah, he got a letter uh, talking about his girl and cheated on him and with a picture and everything. You know, everything. You know, they put everything on the internet now. So yeah, if you think you got a boyfriend and you let him take pictures of you doing stuff that's supposed to be between you and him, but he want to film it and he want to look at it. Uh, no, I don't think so, bro. <laughs> if you got to film me, uh, I'm leaving. So anyway, that's what happened to this female in this book. A picture of her got into her new boyfriend's hands. And let's just say it wasn't uh, family friendly. So then he gets mad and kick her to the curb and kick her out. And then so she's like, okay. Uh, you know, at first she's upset, but then she's like, okay, no problem, bro. I'm just going to do my own thing. So she started a little website, Cam video yeah we still in the not family friendly situation and she's doing that and what i didn't like about it i wanted her to be gone a little bit longer i wanted him to uh have a heart attack because after he realized what he did and he realized that 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 film wasn't you know because she tried to tell him that was a film that happened a long long time ago I, really yeah he wouldn't believe her so when he figured it out he wanted to get her back so he started looking for her. i just wanted her to be gone a little bit more if if they could have just had them communicating over that you know talking to each other about even or something you know him trying to get her to come back it was just too quick her going back i wanted a little more angst between him getting her back and her saying no because you know when you're dealing with the mob or the uh some of savory people and you're a female you really don't have a chance Cause if he decide he wants you, he yeah, she didn't have a chance. Cause he was like, uh, uh you mad? Yeah, come on here, you, I'm taking you back home. So it's, yeah, but I wanted a little bit more from them. So that that's why that this didn't get but a four for me. But I did enjoy it, and I like I said, I wasn't going to buy the book cause the book has a male on the cover. I didn't like that cover too much. But when I saw this, uh, what they call these kind of cover, discreet cover. When I saw, I'm not into discreet covers, but when they do it well and when they do it really, really well, I'm all for it. Because look at this cover. Love it. 
Love this. I bought this for the cover. I didn't buy this for the actual book. <laughs> I bought this for the cover. Because I don't know if I'm going to ever read this again. Like I said, I did enjoy it. It's a good read. Uh, like I said, you know how you have what you want to have in a book. It, even though I'm not a writer. But I'm a reader. I just wanted a little bit more angst between her going back to him. Which that didn't happen. But I, that's what I wanted. But other than that, it was a good read. Um, like I said, if I get a four is high for me. Because I, I don't get it. I stick in the four and the four and a half range. I don't ever give a book five star. It got to be really, really, really outstanding. I don't give out five stars lightly. Uh, but I did enjoy this. I highly recommend it. And um, if you like a good mobster uh, romance, uh, this will do it for you. Run, Posey, run. Kate C. Wells. Beautiful, beautiful cover. I, I, whoever did this cover for her knocked it out of the box. 100%. Next, I have uh, I'll wait. This is another cover by. Uh, this is by Juliet Cross. This is her Stay a Spell series. Uh, this is a um, series set on some witches in New Orleans, I think. Uh, this is book. I hope it got it. Oh, this is book four. Look, she she got it on here. Book four. This is book four in the series. I did read uh, book one. I think it's Wolf Gone Wild. I got to get that first book too, because like I said, I wasn't gonna buy this. Um, the first book I gave it a four. Also, um, I wasn't going to, you know, reread again. But she, these these uh, covers, because I like Wolf Gone Wild cover also, uh, and I did enjoy the book. But it wasn't nothing that made me want to pick it up. I don't know if I'll read it again or whatever. I kind of like. I don't know, <laughs> but I gave it a four star. But these covers, and. The only reason I didn't buy Wolf Gone Wild because I wanted to buy it for the cover. I'm like, you don't need to buy that. You don't need to buy no more books. But it came out with. Uh, who is this one on? This is on. He's a Grim Reaper, uh, and I. You meet the uh, what is his name? Garrett Blackwater in the first book. He got a little, little scene in the first book where I think he's a bouncer at a club or something, and the two main characters, or one of them, go there or something. I forgot how it was, but and he. I like those moody because the way she had him, he was a kind of moody, you know, he don't talk that much. I like those kind of male characters where they don't say too much, but yeah, they got a lot going on. And I wanted to read his story, so that's why I bought this one. Uh, what is this? Always, pra always practice safe hex. So that's why I got this one, because of the Grim Reaper. And I'm going to end up getting this whole series, because these covers, they are knocking them out the box with these with these discreet covers. Loving, loving it. And this is Juliet Cross, always practicing safe hex. And I did, uh, like I said, the first book, if you want to start at the first book, uh, Wolf Gone Wild, I did enjoy it. I gave it four stars. Uh, I'm also going to get that one too. Uh, it's about a werewolf and um, she's uh, in the female of the witch. And the, most of the book is on the sisters. Um, they, uh, Her uh, older sister, they kind of run New Orleans or something. They over the... Uh, witches of New Orleans, or all of them magical creatures, I guess. They're, they are over them. I, I guess that's how it is. I don't know, but if you like reading about witches, which I do, I think I mentioned on before, on here before, if you got a book about a witch that's a romance, please let me know, because I will check it out, because I, I love reading the books about witches, and I don't, you don't see that too too much, you know, an actual romance with a uh that's taken seriously like it is actually a thing and um the female is a witch and and the male i don't want the male to be have anything i just want him to be a regular guy who falls in love with i, I want the uh bewitch story <laughs> i want the bewitch romance uh samantha and uh what was it samantha and darren yeah that's what i want <laughs> yeah but check this out if you haven't uh, I got this one, and like I said, I read the first one, Wolf Gone Wild. I really enjoyed that one. I don't know about this one, but I've been hearing great things about the series, so I'll go ahead and recommend the series if you want to check it out. And like I said, if you like witches like I do, or if you like uh, werewolves or whatever, uh, check out. And I think this got werewolves, it got vampire. I think she got some of everything here, like a Grim Reaper. So if you like dealing with the mystical world or whatever, you like your males or females, be you know, having some kind of power or being some kind of creature, there you go. There you go. Uh, Stay a Spell, book four. Then I, I also got this one called the book two. Yeah. Abby, Abby Jimenez. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Is the J like a H? 
Gemini's or Jimenez? I don't know. But yeah, there you go. And this is part of your world. And I got this one because I like the synopsis of this. She's rich and he's not. I think he owns a... Um, does he work at a uh, garage? I don't know. But I like that, you know, dynamic. Rich girl, poor boy. How we gonna make it? You know, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot going on with that situation. So it gives you a lot of drama in there because how, how we gonna make it? You know, is he gonna be the kind of guy that... You know, he want to be the man and he want to make the money, but she's rich and he can't handle it. Because sometimes, I don't like them kind of books. Sometimes I want my man to be, I just want you to be able to handle anything. I, if I'm rich, I want you to be able to handle it. It don't bother you that I'm rich. You just want to be with that person. You don't care that they're rich. You can deal with that situation because you securing your own self. Come on now. <laughs> so I hope he's securing himself and he won't have no problem, but yeah. You dealing with the romance uh it, it always gonna be some issues going on so i hope that's not the case with this and it also got a little dog in there but I'll, i got this from tarjay so yeah i hope this is good because like i say i don't i don't read it i just go ahead and buy it if i hear about it and i think it, it i like the synopsis of what it like poor uh well he ain't poor but uh what you want to call it uh just one of the uh middle class people uh Fooling around with the rich folks. Because I think she's rich. So, yeah. There you go. I got that. And I got this from Target, as you can see. And I got this one from... I ordered this off of Amazon. And I also ordered this off of Amazon. I think I, I had said to myself, I wanted to mention where I got my book from. Both of these came from Amazon. Uh, next, I have... Uh, Carrick and Brian. I'm still working on Carrick and Brian series. Carrick and Brian? Brian? I can never pronounce that last name. Carrick and B. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and this is How to Love a Duke in 10 Days. I also picked this up. Uh, Amazon special. Yeah, the old Amazon Prime. I got that from Amazon. I'm still trying to work on her books. Um, I think I got all off and started reading other stuff, but I still want to carry on and uh, get through her series. I think this is in a series, but I don't know what series it is, but there you go. Pick that up. This is another... Got these two because of uh, BookTube. Uh, the Mile High series, I have read this. Excellent. I gave it a four and a half star. Really, really enjoyed it. Dealing with hockey. Um, yeah. I, 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 I'm not too much into the foot, the um, like football or baseball or stuff like that. But give me a good hockey. And I don't even watch hockey. I don't know nothing about hockey. But I like reading books about hockey. What? <laughs> I don't know. It's something about them guys skating around on them skates and stuff. Yes. And so, yeah, I'm not into the too much. I like sports romances, but it's something about them hockey romances. I don't know. I just love a guy who playing hockey. Uh, I like reading the baseball or it just don't have that same kind of, it's just something about this guy skating around on these skates. I don't know. But I really enjoyed this, and uh, it's about um, the guy, he play hockey, and the female, she works on the, play, you know, his uh, team have their own plane to fly them around to different places so they can, you know, go play the games and stuff, and she is a flight attendant on the on their plane. She worked for the uh, hockey team. So, yeah, you know, you got some, uh, we aren't supposed to be going together because we work together, so, you know, you got that stipulation, don't, don't, go, don't go with your, uh, you know, we shouldn't be going together because we work together. I forgot. I don't forgot what they call that uh, when you're working together. But it's a rule in the books where you don't need to be going with your coworker because sometimes on breakups, just is not yeah, it's not conducive to you working together because you have a breakup and you can't stand that person no more. <laughs> yeah, but uh, the guy here, what is his name? Oh, what is his name? Xander. Xander don't care about that. Xander fall first, boy. Xander is all in. Yeah, at first, you know, he's supposed to be a playboy. You know, you got to have the playboy situation going on. So he's a playboy and stuff like that. But then he meet old uh, Stevie. It's all it's all over for him. <laughs> and Xander be like, yeah, uh, I don't care what they say. We going to make this happen. So if you like uh, hockey romances like I do, try out the Mile House series. This is book one. And um, I also think she wrote, Wall, was it Wallpad? I think she wrote this, I think this book was first on Wallpad. I think so. Uh, and maybe I think a lot of people was reading it, getting a lot of hype or whatever. And um, it got, she published, I think she published it herself. And um, 
she had another book on there. I tried to find that book. It was, uh, I think she took it off. Of, I think she took all her, I think she took her book off a of wall pad, wall pad. And it was another book. I've been trying to find that book. Do you know they want too much money for that book? I don't know what the what the name of it is. If I can think of it when I edit this, if, if I can figure out the editing process, I'll put the name of it there. But I enjoyed this book so much that I was going back and looking for her other books. And then I found out she was on Wattpad and I went to look for a book. Yeah, it's not there no more. I think it's a, a part two. I think that, that book is a part one or part two. I can't think of the name of it, though. But, uh, yeah, if I find it, they want too much money for it, but I might find it somewhere. I've been looking for it. Uh, but this is book one in the Miles High series. Is this a Miles High series? This is on a series. I think it's a Miles High series. And then I had to get book two. I haven't read it yet. Uh, and these are the discreet cover, and she also has some uh, other covers with the mail on them. I got those two somewhere around here. I, I When I do my next book haul, I'll pull those out and show you that, because, yeah, I bought both of those covers. Yeah, <laughs> that was me. <laughs> I got the mail, because the mail and the discreet, the discreet cover were uh beautiful so i had to get the mail covers too but i really love these discreet covers really really love them and the tom tom liz tom ford so if you haven't read in it you need to go check her out she's a great writer i really love her books good book i haven't read this one yet uh but i've been hearing good things about it um people have been talking about it on booktube giving it a good rating some people giving it a five star some people gave both of these books a five star I gave this one a four and a half star, and I haven't read this one yet. It's a little bit uh, smaller than the first book, just about a little bit. But I like reading big books anyway. If you if you like your mind reading big books and long books, uh, cause I I I want to stay with the couple as long as I can. Uh, so again, it's the Mile High is the first book. And Right Move is the second book, and I think she got two more books coming out. I think I'll be on a one of them gonna be on a different sport. I don't know what, baseball, maybe? I don't know. But anyway, if you like sports romances, check them out. Highly, highly recommend the first book. Um, next, I have, I was looking on uh, Amazon, for, and I got these two from Amazon. Both of these are from Amazon. Next, I have Beautiful Bad Man by Ellen O'Connor. Now, I was on Amazon looking for, I like reading ro uh, romances on uh, set in the Old West, you know, um, the 1800s Old West, when when they were first getting the West started and stuff like that. So, I was looking on there, and I found this, uh, what her name, Ellen O'Connor, I found her on uh, Amazon. And I, I um, read it on Kindle, because, you know, I was like, I, I looked at this cover, I was like, I don't know if I want to take a chance. <laughs> And I'm just sweating. Hold up, let me let me wipe my forehead because it's just shining. Making these videos tough, y'all. I just got to tell you it's tough. <laughs> uh, Ellen O'Connor, beautiful bad man. I really enjoyed this, even though this cover needs help. Look at this cover, really. But I guess you got to. I ain't, I'm gonna quit saying that because when you publish your own, your own books you gotta do what you gotta do to make it happen so i ain't gonna say nothing there you go this cover beautiful bad man her writing was like i don't care about this cover i'm gonna buy this book because i really really enjoy this and this is about uh what i don't know what her his name is but it's about this guy he's uh uh i think he's a uh is he a bounty hunter or uh, i I don't know what he does, but he shows up at this place, and it's about the lady. She, uh, her husband just passed away, and she's on this little farm uh, out in the middle of nowhere. And then you know you got the big boss who trying to buy up all the land and uh, burning people out of their homes and stuff like that. So she having problems. So she meets this guy. Oh, that's right. They met when they were kids, and she helped him out when he was little. And. Because they was on the wagon. Were they on the wagon train? Her and her family was moving out west, and they was on the wagon train, and then they come across this boy. I don't know. They, they meet him somewhere, and she helped him out and gave him some food and helped him out. But that, and she remembered him. He ends up in her place some kind of way, 
and she ends up, they end up remembering. Did they remember each other? I think they end up remembering each other. He remember her. I don't know who remember who first. I think he remember her. I, 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 I'm not for sure. But anyway, he ends up helping her out. And it goes from there. And I really, really enjoyed it. I gave this four and a half stars. So if you were looking for a Western, if you like Western romances, and you like for your hero to be kind of like the uh, bounty hunter or the bad guy, maybe he's an outlaw or something like that. I, I forgot what he was. I don't know if he's a bounty hunter. I, maybe he's an out, outlaw. Or let's just say he is a gunslinger. There you go. A gunslinger. Try this book out. And this beautiful bad man by Ellen O'Connor. I think you will like it if you're looking for a Western. If you're looking for those Westerns like I do, because um, I, I always be checking on Amazon looking for me a good Western to read. You, you can't find a good one. They just done gave up on the Western. They just read everything. Got Why everything got to be set over in, in England, over in Europe? <laughs> Why we can't have a good Western? Uh, yeah, there you go. So here go Ellen. Ellen O'Connell. And I... Uh, I've been trying to uh, read some of her other books too. I got to go check out some of her other books uh, because she got me as a fan. Yeah. Uh, what else I got over here? Brenda Jackson, Fire and Desire. I haven't read. I always, I've heard good things about Brenda Jackson. I haven't read anything by her. So I saw this. I got this off of a uh, paperback swap. Uh, and I was like, let me try this out. So, and I yeah, look at this cover. And this is called Fire and Desire. So I was like, let me get this right here and try this out and check out Brenda Jackson because I've been hearing good things about her. So there you go. And I, I got like I think I mentioned I got this from Paperback Swap. And this one I got off of Amazon. I think I mentioned it. I mentioned I was looking on Amazon, so you know I got it from Amazon. Um I had to get the last, the uh what you, what you call this? The epilogues from uh, T.L. Swan, the Mile High series. Because I bought all those books. I only read book one and book two. I haven't read book three and book four. Because three and four, I, I have been here. Some people didn't like them. Some people liked them. So I got to, uh, you know, give my own opinion on them. But that made me didn't go to them. I didn't go read them right away. Because it, it, it both of them done had mixed reviews. But I did buy the last little... It's a little, very small. It's on the four brothers, and it's a little epilogue or telling uh, about their life after they've gotten together. And I has, I have start, I have read a, um, I have been reading it a little bit. I've been reading. Uh, I've got to, I've made it to the takeover, and it's okay. I give it. I, I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna grade it yet. I just, uh, I've started on the, uh, the takeover. I made it to the takeover, so I'm gonna reserve my. Uh, I'll give you an update on it later on, but uh, it's okay. And but I had to get it because this is the epilogue to the to the Miles High series, so I had to get it, of course. This little bit of book, I think I paid about what twelve dollar for it. Yeah, the little thing. Yeah, when I got this, I was like, this is this is it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, next, I had to get this. A lot of people been talking about this on booktube all roads leads here and you know uh mariana, mariana Zapata, she write big thick books so i i like how they describe the hero in here so i was like let me go get it and check it out but this cover uh no <laughs> this cover ain't doing it for me but i went ahead and bought it because i every time i downloaded on my Kindle, i never made it to it i was like let me get the book because yeah it'll be like uh, what it Liz told for you be looking for the book and she don't she she ain't writing it no more and then you can't find it. <laughs> That's why I, I always be paranoid that the book won't be there when I want to go get it, you know? Cause like I said, I downloaded it on my I, my uh, Kindle, but I never did read it. And so I was like, uh, I'm going to go ahead and buy it, cause. I have a fear that the book I want to read, if I never read it right away, I, it won't be there. But now I got it in my collection, so if I want to go read it, I can go read it. I just be paranoid that the book not going to be there when I do want to go read it. So that's why I bought it, because this, this cover, yeah. <laughs> Next I got um, Lucy Score, and this is Things We Have from the Light. Uh, this is in her Knock Em Out series. I got book one. 
also around here somewhere. I bought that earlier. And then also I had to get a book too. But if you've been with me for a while, I've always been talking about Lucy's score before she even blew up. But she she had blew up to me because I enjoyed her books. <laughs> she was already blown up to me. She ain't that she she, she ain't nothing new. I always I always knew she was a good writer. So if you've been with me for a while, you've seen I've recommended her books on my channel before. Before all of this knock 'em out series and all this stuff. Because I love her writing. She's she bear she have her cra characters be cracky up. She she write funny characters. Uh, and them, them uh, love scenes uh, steamy <laughs> and that, that, uh, what book um, I can't think of the book the first book I ever read about her but I really really enjoyed her and ever since then I've been reading her books but I'm so glad she's getting the attention she, she deserves because she's an excellent writer so if you haven't tried out Lucy's score uh, try out and if you only know her uh, because of the Knock em Out series go back and read some of her uh other books that she wrote before this before she uh wrote this series go back and check out her other series uh or her other books i mean and i don't think you will be disappointed because i love i loved her books uh i've been buying her for a while but of course she wrote this series so i just i haven't even read this, the books yet she is an automatic buy for me so i just went ahead and bought i already got book one around here somewhere i gotta go and read that and i of course had to get book two so i'm gonna buy this whole series even though these covers yeah these covers need help but yeah <laughs> but hey that's what it is so they got the discreet covers coming out now so there you go i i bought this for the book you know sometimes I'm buying for the co i didn't buy this for the cover i bought it for the book because i like lucy score she's an excellent writer give her a chance go and check out some of her other books um, next I bought, now I just bought this because of hype. This is the, uh, uh Dreamland Billionaire series. Uh, I think this is the final book. I got the other two books around here somewhere. I bought this because of book two. Yep. People was talking about this and I, I don't know. I kind of like these covers. I think I, I kind of bought this for the covers because I kind of like the little, it's not black and white, but it, you know, it don't have no cover. You got this green kind of cover. I don't know. It's something about these these covers that's doing it for me. And this is the final offer. I think this is the book, um, the last book in the series. And I think people really love this last book in the series. So I got to go and give it a try. But you know me, if if the books don't do it for me, but I like these covers. But if a, a, a book I read that was hyped up and I don't really like it, uh, just stay tuned to my channel because usually I'll be giving it away. <laughs> But I don't know if I'm going to give these. And the final offer, Lauren, have you have been have you read the whole series? Did you like it? Did you like book one and book two? Or was it kind of book one and book two kind of iffy for you and you just like book three? Let me know. Uh, next I have Consider Me. Uh, this is another uh, book two by uh, my TikTok. Uh, what is it? I can't even think. <laughs> it wasn't YouTube. Instagram. I saw this mentioned on Instagram, and I went ahead and gave it a try. I enjoyed it. I gave it a four star. Uh, the the main guy, he kind of over the top for me, but I still en enjoyed it. But I bought it for this cover. Consider me. I don't know if I'll be reading the second book. I want to read the. Uh, it was a guy in here that they mentioned. It, he, I thought the second book was gonna be on him, but it wasn't. So I don't know if I'll be getting the second book. But I, if she write the third book on, I can't think what his name is. But he was having problem with his girlfriend, and he kind of called her cheating on him and i want him to get his happily ever after i can't think of what his name is but when she come out with his book i will be reading it but uh her yeah she kind of write her me and kind of oh it was he was doing this hero was doing a little bit too much but i gave it a four star but i bought it for the cover consider me by becca mack and i think she was also she also started writing on uh wallpad i hope i'm pronouncing that right wallpad where well, you can just if you're Consider you, you want to be a writer or whatever. Uh, you can just go on there and uh, upload your books to the uh, to their website. And people read them for free. And a lot of people was enjoying her book also. Uh, so hey, this is what happened when you get a lot of people enjoying your book. You, you get your own little book. I guess she uh, went and published her own little book. And look at that cover. I really love it. Uh, that's going to be it for me because I see a warning on my phone here. Probably... Uh, taking up too much space so i'm gonna stop here so i i got a lot of books i need to share with you all that i bought and books that i read so i will be coming back with another video pretty soon i hope all y'all have been uh keeping up reading those romances since i've been gone <laughs> and let me know down below what books you've read what book you've uh 
new author you've discovered because some of these uh becca mack and liz tom ford uh those are new authors of me that i discovered discovered um this year and i have some i discovered last year maybe i'll do a video on some authors that i discovered last year that i really enjoyed and i can share with you because i have been reading and that's another thing i i was on a um in a book slump last year yeah it did not happen for me i read some books and some of them i was just not feeling it like i said i was spending time with my mom and i wasn't doing too much reading so wasn't no use of me coming on here trying to do a video when i wasn't reading that much but uh i read a few so they piled up since then you know i found some that i liked some that was okay whatever but let me know what have you been reading what have last year what books did you really enjoy last year did you did you uh have some uh number one books that you really enjoyed last year uh because i didn't even do no uh i ain't do nothing i ain't covered nothing from last year <laughs> my top my top five books my top 10 books what were your top 10 books from last year let me know maybe i can go check them out because you know yeah i'll be spending money on books but i don't need to but anyway all right this linda here uh, sorry I was gone so long, but I'm back. Hopefully I can get some videos out, but uh, yeah, <laughs> if I don't show up, I don't, 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 don't hate on me. Don't hate me. <laughs> I'll try to come back and do some videos and get them out, but until then, keep reading those romances, and I'll see y'all when I see you. Bye-bye.